Hey y'all. Okay, the other day I shared a book that I was reading um, titled Beast. The book is written by an author named Pepper Pace. It's very easy to follow, very well written. The author does a phenomenal job of telling stories. Um, I have read several of her other books, but this is how my book cover looks. I've had the book for a few years, so I don't have the updated um, cover. I don't know how I managed to skip over the book, but I'm assuming it's because the book was clouded. I was searching for a book to purchase, and I came across the book, and I'm like, I have that book. So I went and typed it in and then on my Nook, and I had to um, re-download it. And I began reading it with the intention to just read a little and pick up the next day, but a little went all night. I only got one hour of sleep that night, and I couldn't wait to get home yesterday so I could cook, shower, feed my kids, and get back to reading it. Um, I hope it's okay with me giving my review and sharing a brief summary of what the book is about. Um, I would love for any of you who are interested to just get a copy and um, read it. Um, that's why I'm sharing it. So anyhow, like I said, I hope it's okay with me saying this, but the book is about a woman named Ashley. Ashley is a beautiful woman. She's plus size. She has dealt with being plus size or overweight her entire life, though. Her mother hasn't always been supportive of her with things, so they don't have the best relationship. She's kind of taken her through the ringer her entire life. Um, she has two sisters. They don't have a relationship, but she does have two best friends, one named Lance. He's a guy who's gay, and her friend Kendra, she's married, but they do a lot together, they're best friends, they work together, and um, the book opens up where, and I hope it's okay with me saying this, but, Ken, but Ashley has a boyfriend, his name is D'Angelo, and the book opens up basically with him telling her that he just married this woman, so of course she's devastated. He's telling her, but it's like he's telling her, but he still wants to kind of kick it with her. And she's not having it, and I don't blame her. So, of course, um, her friends come to her aid. They're like, you know, you want. she's like, no, I'm okay. But she cries and cries for, for days about it. Then one day, her guy friend Lance, he calls her and tells her um, he's coming over. They are both big fanatics of 80s movies where the theme is the underdog is on top at the end. You know, those teeny bopper 80s movies, like The Breakfast Club and stuff like that. So he comes over and they watch the movie and they talk. And after their conversation, he leaves. She decides, you know what? I want to make a change. I want to lose weight. So she goes and she throws out all her junk food and all the food that is not healthy for her. And she joins the gym. Well, she doesn't really join it because it's a part of the building where she works um, in the basement. She works at the federal building in her town. Um, but she goes on a tour of the building of the gym and decides to go every morning to work out. So she says to herself that, you know, I'm going to get there before anybody gets there so I can be by myself like 5, 5.30. But little does she know the first morning when she gets there, there's already someone there and it's a guy, his name is Chris, and he's on the treadmill. Now, Chris is a lieutenant in the um, Marines. He's also a part of a special forces team. And when he's not on missions, he's stationed at the federal building to secure the building and, and watch surveillance. So when she comes in, she all she can tell is that he has a nice body woo, and that he's pale. She can't see his face because he has his head covered with the hoodie. So he doesn't speak. She doesn't. She goes about her business of working out. So this continues for several days. And finally one day, because he has like a different CD in every day with like his choice, his preference of different music. So one day he's playing a song that she likes and she makes a comment about it as he's leaving. Because he would always leave before her and he would get his CD and he would hit it. So she makes a comment about the music and he kind of looks over at her and that's when she gets a glimpse of his face. 
Now, Chris was born with a bilateral cleft palate, and his face is severely deformed because his parents didn't have the money to get it corrected, and he was chosen in a trial, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, where some doctors were supposed to correct it, and they did a botched job. So the narrator describes him as looking like an albino gorilla due to his pale skin. He's from a country town in Kentucky um, in the mountains. So that might be a contributing factor to his pale skin or it could just be hereditary. But um, he doesn't have a bridge to his nose because of the Bosch job. And um, his face is deformed, like I said. And it's scary. It's pretty scary looking. So she sees this and she's like, oh my God. But she doesn't say nothing, of course. And she kind of is mad at herself for staring. So he, whatever it is she says to him, I can't remember. He puts the CD back on there because he realized she likes, she's enjoying it. So he leaves it and just tells her, when you're done, just leave it in the CD player. So every day when he comes in, she's, he's, when she comes in, he's already there on the same um, treadmill running. Cause he loves to run. He's very fit. He's always been fit. And she, um, when she's working out and he leaves before her, he leaves the CD for her. So they build a relationship after she has an incident in the gym. Um, and he's concerned about her. They haven't, uh, they start building a friendship and it's a beautiful story. Chris is a beautiful, beautiful person. Um, there's a little bit, uh, like a teeny weeny bit of drama here and there, not much. And the author does a good job of just getting straight to the point, and that's what I love when I read a story. Um, I do love mystery and I love thriller and suspense, but you know, sometimes you just want that, you know, straight to it, and that's what this story does. Um, there's a huge message in the story which. Which I feel is one of the reasons probably why it was meant for me to read it now and not then. Due to some things that I'm going through in my own life. Um, sometimes those of us who are insecure about a lot of things within ourselves, we have the tendency of being so shallow towards others. And we don't even realize it. It's kind of like a subconscious thing, I guess. And this book helped me to look at things in a different light and put things into perspective. Not only that, to appreciate things. And sometimes it's easier said than done, but to appreciate things. Because what you may look at in yourself and take for granted because you don't like it or you take it, someone else would love to have. So again, like I said, the story is beautifully written. I give it five stars. I do recommend it. My cover is an old cover because, like I said, I've had the book for like four years, I think. Um, the cover is now updated with a guy with a hoodie on. You can't see his face and you can just see his muscles. Again, it's called Beast and it's by Pepper Pace. If you are a romance reader and you love a good romance story that's straight to the point where you just can fall in love with the hero, check it out. You won't be disappointed.